So who qualifies for astronaut wings? The FAA just released clear requirements for their program. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to the Launchpad. My name's Zach, and here at the Launchpad, we cover everything space. Well, Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic have both had successful missions with their first crews, and following each mission, we saw the crews receive astronaut wings, a very special and memorable moment for any astronaut. But this also raised the question, who qualifies as an astronaut, and who meets the requirements and eligibility to receive astronaut wings? Well, last night, the FAA U.S. Department of Transportation released a three-page order explaining the requirements. The purpose of this order is to provide guidelines, eligibility, and criteria for the administration of the FAA Commercial Space Astronaut Wings program. To be eligible for the program, a crew member of a commercial flight must meet all requirements for flight crew qualifications and training under Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations, Part 460. They must demonstrate flight beyond 50 statute miles or 80.46 kilometers above the surface of Earth and be part of a mission that has received FAA or AST license and they must also demonstrate activity during flight that is essential to public safety or contributed to the human space flight safety. In order to maintain the prestige of the Commercial Space Astronaut Wings program, the FAA reserves the right to refine the eligibility requirements at any time as it deems necessary. Any crew member that qualifies for the Space Astronaut Wings must be nominated by an FAA, DOT, or U.S. government representative, or an FAA licensed launch vehicle operator. A nomination must describe how the candidate satisfies all eligibility requirements. There could be individuals whose contribution to commercial human spaceflight merits special recognition. The Associate Administrator for Commercial Space Transportation has total discretion regarding identifying and bestowing FAA Honorary Award of a Commercial Space Astronaut Wings to individuals who demonstrated extraordinary contribution or beneficial service to the commercial human spaceflight industry. These individuals receiving an honorary award may not be required to satisfy all eligibility requirements, and the award can be granted posthumously also. Following verification that any crew member has met all eligibility, the FAA will issue one set of commercial space astronaut wings. So now we know, or at least have a little more clarity, of who qualifies to receive the commercial space astronaut wings. So now we can look back at Virgin Galactic's Unity 22 mission, Blue Origin's New Shepard 16 first human flight mission, and forward to Inspiration 4 with SpaceX. Unity 22, each crew member had specific tasks to help research for future flights and opportunities. Richard Branson was for customer experience. We saw other crews doing research. They all had a role to help further it. They also reached an altitude of 86 kilometers or 51.5 statute miles. So I would say they qualify for this program if they listed their crew correctly on their launch license. For New Shepard 16, they were more like passengers than crew, but they did reach 107 kilometers or 66.5 statute miles. So depending how they were listed on the launch license, their training, and what their real tasks were, were they just passengers or did they do some sort of testing or research while in the air, they may not qualify for the program, but they might qualify to get honorary rings because of the historical nature of the flight. Inspiration4 crew members each have dedicated roles like pilot or medical officer and are going into orbit with a targeted altitude of 540 kilometers, 335.5 statute miles, so without a question, they qualify for this program. It'll be interesting to see what Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin do for future flights and how they market them, but now we have some clear guidance from the FAA for their wing program. That's all for this video, but make sure you engage that subscribe button so you never miss another TLP news update, live launch coverage, or exclusive interview. This is Zach, signing off.